Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Xbox Series S and see how this specific device holds up in the later part of 2023. Now what's funny is, is that I personally do think that the Xbox Series S is still a very, very good you know, device to pick up. I think it looks beautiful and it still has a lot of capability for sure. And I do think if you're wanting to get inside of the Xbox Series landscape, this is a very, very good option. It's, a, I would say it's a good upgrade coming from any of the Xbox Ones. Even the One X is kind of an upgrade to this thing, to be honest, but there's still a lot of capability here, a lot of power. And honestly, I do think that there's more of a community behind the Xbox Series S than there is for the Series X. Even though the X is more powerful and more expensive, I'm actually kind of finding that there's always like more videos and more people talking about the Xbox Series S than the Series X, which is actually very, very funny. Now, starting off with the outside, nothing really has changed. It's the same old body that we had before, the same like circular stovetop type of design at the very top, which is very funny, very cool. I actually think it makes this thing look very unique. You have that USB port on the front, USB port on the back, HDMI cable, you have the Xbox button, all this other stuff. The only thing you're missing here that we talked about before was basically like the desk this tray. You don't have that on this specific console, but I don't think that's that big of a deal either. And I still think you're getting a perfectly fine working console from this type of device. So from that perspective, that kind of covers it up there. Now, the other thing that I've kind of seen is basically like the games that are available and games that are going to be coming out. If you remember what I said in 2020, which most of you probably have never even heard of my voice before, so you probably don't know this, but in 2020, when these consoles first came out, I was basically saying that, hey, like these things were basically probably going to go through and they're probably going to, you know, there's going to be a big overlap between the Xbox One X and One S and the Xbox series of consoles. And I think that's completely true. I think a lot of games are still coming around for both of these devices, which is still very cool to see. So I think that in and of itself is a very, very big thing. But I think beyond that, these consoles are still so good. They have so much capability behind them. And even though, you know, we're now getting rumors about maybe some refreshes that are going to be happening, like some major refreshes, I think it's very fun to think about the games that are also going to be supported on this console as well. There are so many games available for this Series S, even though it doesn't have a disc tray. All the digital games you can play are available here. But also the other big thing is essentially with the console, the future of this console in terms of gaming. I mean, you have games like Grand Theft Auto 6 that's about to come out, probably some more Halo games that are going to be coming out for this thing too, and so many games that I'm, like, I'm not even that big of a gamer, but even on my Series S, there's so many games available, it's not even funny, but the coolest thing that Microsoft kind of allowed us to do, I don't even know if they still allow us to do this, but for a long period of time, Microsoft was allowing us to get into these developer modes inside of these Series S's, and you actually had the capability of pretty much going through and actually basically like installing emulators on this console. That was a very cool thing. So for like $300, you could not only play like your Series S games, but you could also go ahead and play these emulated games on other consoles. And I think consoles up into maybe the PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii, we could actually play those games on this console, which is so cool. I think those types of things are so awesome for this type of console. And that type of user base is only going to continue to grow. I don't know how, I mean, definitely I don't think there's going to be a time where like Xbox 360 games will be playable on this thing. But over a certain period of time, I'm sure there could be some things where, you know, that type of thing could happen. I mean, obviously you can play them like natively, but emulated wise, I mean, it'd be very curious to see. So what I'll tell you is I love the Xbox Series S. I think it's a very easy way of getting into the Xbox landscape without spending too much money. And I think they're still completely worth buying in the later part of 2023. And they'll make a great holiday gift as well. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.